Jonathan Lee Riches, a.k.a. JLR, Justice for Summer Wells. She's been missing since June 15, 2021. There's a lot of things that don't make sense to me, and I'm asking you guys to please comment and share, and um, let's have a conversation about what transpired that day, June 15, 2021, the day Summer Wells went missing. And this is in reference to Jody Sue Brown. Should Jody Sue Brown be trusted with what she saw? Is she believable? Did she really see a car go up the driveway of Don and Candace Wells that day, followed by a scream, an animalistic scream that her and her son claimed to have heard that day? Been looking in, trying to figure this out, trying to put the pieces together. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think that it, it's true? WJHL came out with a story on Jody Sue Brown. I'm going to link that in the um, video. And she claims that, you know, she was already vigilant because of her property dispute outside her house between people or property lines. And she saw a car go up the driveway of Don and Candace Wells, followed by hearing a truck door slam. She said a truck door slam. According to WJHL, I find that kind of odd because how do you hear a truck door slam? You hear a, a door slam, you know, outside your home or wherever you hear something slam. How do you know if it's a truck, a car, or a anything? I mean, how do you know the difference? So how did she know that was a truck? So I thought that was kind of interesting. Then uh, she claims that she heard an animalistic scream. Now, I want you to... Listen to this clip from WJHL, and this is from Sheriff Ronnie Lawson. He claims that Jody Sue Brown was interviewed numerous times by the Sheriff's Office, them, the TBI, and the FBI. Check this out. And you gave statements to the police, right? Oh, absolutely. Jody Sue had been interviewed many times by investigators, bringing up the screen often. But the sheriff doesn't believe the scream is related to the disappearance of Summer Wells. She's been interviewed numerous times by not only my agency, but the TBI and the FBI. And we don't find anything with that complaint or information related to this case. So you just heard Sheriff Ronnie Lawson say that Jody Sue Brown was interviewed by them, the Hawkins County Sheriff, the TBI, and the FBI numerous times. And the scream is not related to the disappearance of Summer Wells. Came out of his own mouth. Similar to what when Don and Candace Wells claimed there was a kidnapping. And Sheriff Ronnie Lawson says there's no evidence of a kidnapping. So, did they really hear a scream? And when I say they, also Jody Sue's son went on the record, WJHL, and said that he heard an animalistic scream that day. Check this out. We heard... Just this kind of shrill, almost animalistic scream. So, did they really hear a scream that day? Maybe, maybe not. Is it related? Maybe, maybe not. What's your thoughts? Should Jody Sue Brown be believed? She, let me talk a little bit about Jody Sue Brown. So, she has an extensive criminal record of drugs with her husband, Andy Bernard. She was put on probation. At, you know, she also had a gun in her possession in the past. She owes currently owes over three thousand dollars in court costs. Andy Bernard has been arrested numerous times for drugs. I'm hearing that Jody Sue Brown and Candace Wells were very good friends. Very good friends, you know, prior to Summer went missing. As soon as Summer went missing, Jody Sue comes out and feels like she's in danger. A lot of people have sympathy for her, donate a lot of money to her. And she leaves. She leaves that property. Now, I made a prior video with Polly Bernard, who is the mother of Andy Bernard, the mother that actually owns that property across the street from Don and Candace Wells. And it was a very, um, she made very strange Facebook post a couple days after uh, Summer went missing. Uh, I think it was a few days after uh, Summer went missing in June. I think it was around the 18th, around that time. She makes a Facebook post. And she's, you know, says she couldn't sleep for days and she was very, very bothered, but she wasn't posting on Facebook prior. So I want, I'll link that video to check that out. It's, it, it, it's very strange. You know, I reached out to George Bernard. He blocked me on Facebook. What is going on here? 
what is going on with Jody Sue Brown? Now I'm hearing rumors that Jody Sue Brown um, is very mad that her son is being brought into this because you're, we're hearing rumors that the son was in the woods around the home uh, days prior and days after. And what's going on here? Uh, I made another video of posting about Damien Bernard's Facebook post, a lot of his cartoon avatars, lots of guns involved and, and, and strange things. Is Jody Sue involved here? I don't believe that Jody Sue and Candace Wells are friends anymore, but you would think if they if they did something they would together or colluded, they would turn on each other. Videos coming out, people claiming that Summer is buried with the animals of Andy Bernard somewhere on one of the properties or the properties that we're hearing a lot. I do have a timeline here and 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 you know, I'm trying to figure this out and trying to dig deep. Should Jody Sue be trusted? You know, what we do know is at 3.30 p.m. that day, June 15th, 2021, Candace, Grandma, and Summer arrive home with the boys. Maybe takes 30 minutes to unpack, shopping, plant flowers, candy with candy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 4 p.m., Summer goes down to the basement alone, according to the brothers. 4 to 4.30. If the screen was relevant, what happened in the time of 30 minutes between 4 and 4.30? Could one of the boys gone down and caused an accident and Summer screamed or... Candace found her and screamed. So this goes back to the screaming. Is the screaming legit? Four, between 4 and 4.30. Uh, Jody Sue and her two kids heard unusual scream that carried on for a bit and they couldn't even have sounded muffled. 4 to 6 p.m. If the scream wasn't relevant to Summer, what happened in the longer time, say about two hours? Could she have gone to the Beach Creek alone or been left there with the boys while Candace and Grandma weren't paying attention. It wouldn't have been a lot easier for someone passing on Beach Creek Road to see her and snatch her than Ben Hill. Six o'clock-ish. Candace called Don saying Summer is missing. Stayed on the phone with Don, returned from work. Journey was about 25 minutes according to Don. 6.30, the 911 call was made uh, by Don and maybe Candace. 6.30, Don arrived home. Time confirmed by Jody Sue. 6.30, according to Jody Sue. Don drove straight to the Beach Creek near Shed, where the boys were already looking, confirmed by Don. Why didn't Don go straight to Beach Creek? Why did Don go straight to Beach Creek and instead up Ben Hill into his driveway? Things don't make sense that day. That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of things do not make sense of what transpired June 15th 2021 could have the screams just been just false stuff that they put out to distract law enforcement you heard it from sheriff lawson he does not he's not even entertaining the screaming he's not sheriff lawson you heard him he's not even entertaining the screaming aspect on that day why is that just like he's not entertaining the kidnapping theory Jody Sue, I, I I just don't know. You know, is is Jody Sue just a victim here? Is she, she's trying to, you know, get attention? I know she has a YouTube channel. She's been capitalizing off this case prior to you know this this case going down. No one has ever heard really of Jody Sue outside of the Beach Creek area. You know, her her, her social media is following is growing. Her you know she's going on podcasts. Should she be believed? She was apparently interviewed numerous times by the FBI, TBI, and Hawkins County Sheriffs. That came out of Sheriff Lawson's mouth. Why would you be interviewed numerous times? Like, what, what, what are they trying to get her on? And if she lied, or is she telling the truth? If she lied, could she be charged with something? Could, could she be charged something with something? You know, Jody Sue. A lot of unanswered questions here. I think there's a lot of shenanigans going on. Bottom line is Summer Wells is not found. Well, tomorrow will be 11 months. One more month will be one year since she's been missing. It's just so sad. You know, we all want Summer Wells to be found. So just bringing this, guys, to your attention. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. Share around. Check out the links. Just digging in more about 
you know, statements that individuals gave that day. Sometimes when it's longer out, you can go back and look at things. And, and as we learned more, as we learned more, as this case progressed, we can go back and see things and see if there's any inconsistencies and, you know, and, and, and maybe Jody Sue is just in fact, uh, you know, a victim of all this or didn't, you know, just saw what she says and that she's legit. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's why I'm asking. What, what is your thoughts on all of this? So God bless. Let's hope for Summer Wells to be found soon. Justice for Summer Wells.